Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Phil, to great I am, and Reed Rozier here from the Protolum team. And um, we've discovered kind of something pretty cool and we wanted to share it with you guys. So let Phil explain. Hi, so we discovered almost entirely on accident a way to um, re replicate the World of Warcraft respawn system in which a person dies, they become a ghost, respawn at um, a graveyard, and in order to enter the our worldly realm, they have to go back to the place of their death and collect an item. Okay, so as you see, I can pick up a sword and everything, but I can't pick up this um, item, which is a mob spawner, but no mob in it. And he is nowhere at all. Until he picks up the item and then he magically reappears and then he can start dealing the damage again. So when you die, as you see on the right hand side, my death count has been set to one, so I get one point. And then because of this, since my death count is true and I and I'm alive I hit respawn so I have a um, heart health greater than zero I get from these block command blocks here I get all these four um, effects obviously these effects are customizable to your liking so then once I grab the item then it will register that I have the item in my inventory and then it'll clear the item and all the effects and then it'll set my score back to zero in terms of death counts. The only drawback that we have here is that this is only possible <clears throat> with one person dead at a time though this can be remedied with teams and just uh, applying a selector to the test for and the give commands. So now we'll, we'll explain how to do it with command blocks. So first of all you need to set up two scoreboards, scoreboard objectives that is. First one is death count. All of these commands will be in the description. Then the second one is health. And for the purpose of this video we have a display on the sidebar. Alright, so the way this works is somebody is given an item via command while they're still dead. And what happens is the item spawns at their location, but only they are able to pick it up. So the way we do this is we set up the scoreboard as Reed mentioned, and we have a clock running that's connected to this command block, which is constantly testing for a death score of one. Once that is true, it gives the player with a death score of one an item. In this case, it's a item 52, which is a mob spawner. And right here for this command block clock, we'll link to a, another video which will explain how to do this in the description. At the same time, we have over here a clock that's constantly testing for a death score of one and a health that's greater than zero meaning that when they respawn they will still have the death score of one and because they have a health of that's greater than zero they're alive and it'll it will give all of them their effects such as invisibility mining fatigue weakness and regeneration over here we have a clock that's running that will clear the item 52 the mob spawner from their inventory and once that is able to go through, it will clear all of the effects and reset their scoreboard points back to zero. So here's just an overhead view of the suggested, obviously this could be more compact, but the, um, the suggested layout for all of these command blocks. So guys, hopefully that was helpful to you. If so, please like this video and then comment in the comments box saying that, you know, it helped or maybe give suggestions to other people watching this video, etc., etc., and um, yeah, if you want more 
hit subscribe. So yeah, right, we've been Phil and Rosio from the Protolum map building team. Bye.